Hello Game Pro. Today we are going to be walking through a Let's Play a Retro Game project. Uh, I'm showing you a little bit of my expectations around some of the clips you should be taking for your presentation. The game I've chosen today is an old favorite, Raptor Call of the Shadows. Now this game came out in 1994, back when Mr. Bird was nine years old. And I'm pretty sure I played it around that time too. Uh, it's got some of that classic retro gaming feel. It's got the classic retro graphics, the MIDI music. Best of all, it I think it has some great gameplay. So it's a flying game, flying arcade style game, the kind of thing that you'd see in an old fashioned arcade uh, back in the day, but it was made for PC. So we're gonna start uh, right at the beginning here. Here's the menu, loading up the new mission. You can change your ID picture, put in your name, Mr. Bird, call sign, professor. All right, and of course, I you can choose your difficulty. I'm gonna go veteran, I play this game a few times. Now this is the main menu area. I've got a flying mission right here, if I mouse over here, go over here, it's supply room, I can save the pilot. I'm going to get to the supply room and during my discussion during the mission. But we're going to get right in. Now, this is a demo version, so I can only go into Bravo sector, but here's the first mission. All right. So, keyboard controls, arrows, uh, and it is control is your mount. Now, the key about these old fashioned arcade games is that you actually were supposed to memorize the uh, patterns of the enemies you're fighting. Now there's a little bit of lag because I think I'm playing in windowed mode. We'll see if I can go to full screen if I let me play. But I, I wanted to show you what this game kind of looks like. Now on the right hand side you see my health. On the top you see one of the coolest things about this game. Which was uh, what you could do was basically use your high score as a way of buying weapons. Your high score is your dollar figure. There we go, there's a health bar. Now, as you can see, this is a scrolling style video game. Um, the animations are actually pretty good for this type of game from 1994. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you've got your stand. You, of course, later on you can upgrade your weapons and and so forth with uh, the money that you earn during your levels. Um, you can also find weapons as you go through here as well. And one of the things that uh, you, can, you can kind of see is just the, the variety of enemies and situations. So I'm a little rusty. I used to be able to get this just... Yeah. <laughs> Some stuff I'm getting, some stuff I remember, some stuff I am crashing into other things. Uh, if you ever see the find the full version of this, it's worth a playthrough. Um, I found it to be an awful lot of fun. I wanted to get up to this point because I think this is the missile upgrade. Yes, it is. Check that out. Okay, now my missiles are going, and I am killing the baddies a little bit faster. I anticipate them based on the shadows. And also a little bit on that, again, that muscle memory, that pattern. Usually it's left, right, left, right. And if I'm lucky, I can take you all the way to the boss battle at the end. Now for your presentation, you don't need to make these clips as long as the one that I'm going on right here. Um, because this is probably going to turn out to be anywhere between a five and seven minute clip. I'm really only looking for... Um, bits and pieces that are little slices that are um, kind of about two minutes to 30, 30 seconds to two minutes long, uh, showing things like the controls, your first impressions, your impressions of the gameplay, uh, what you like, what you don't, that kind of thing right here. I actually think this is one of the most balanced old games that you can find. It's got a lot going for it, a lot going on at the same time. You have the animations, you have the controls, which are smooth. Um, you have the old, uh, that old retro look. At the same time, it looks, it, it really does kind of hold up compared to some of the indie stuff that's coming out trying to, trying to copy this look. 
Um, now, this is using a DOSBox emulator, so you can kind of see um, sometimes the emulator struggles a little bit. It might be because I'm recording the video, but you know it's coming along. Now, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to beat this boss. I mean, I think hopefully I can get to the end here. Um, so my health is a little crummy, and hopefully the emulator is going to hold up till I can make it all the way through. <laughs> Let's just see it chunking down. Oh, I think here I am. Oh, maybe not quite. A little sneaky thing we can do right here if we're trying to. There we go. Check it out. Smooth moves, man. Smooth moves. Battle of the 90s. You know, right now the 90s is going through a bit of a cultural resurgence. And I have to admit, this is one of the best parts of the 90s right here. Good old arcade games. And these guys go in three and they fan out. Ah, look at that. Hey, Mr. Bird still has it. If you do find the full version of this somewhere, maybe good old games, GOG.com, uh, check it out. Uh, I do also know that the Internet Archive, I think, has a download, um, a zip file, uh, possibly, of this particular version. I'll have to double check down on the, on the thing. But remember, when you're making your slides for. Uh oh, oh hang in there. When you're making your slides for your presentation, make sure you're getting uh, screen grabs and screen captures using this Nimbus extension if you're using a Chrome or the snipping tool. Ah, here's the boss. Let's see if I survive. Oh, man. Oh, man. Birds still have it. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, he totally does it. Oh, look at that. Made it through the first level. The tiny bit of shields. Hey, look at that guy land the plane. Let's go to the sweet supply room and see what weapons I can buy. So I got myself 70,000. And here I am in Harold's Death Emporium. Okay, so I don't need those. I could buy a Mega Bomb, which blows up everything on the screen. I have the air to air missile. Um, I can. Not quite. I can't quite get the plasma cannon. It kind of adds a little boost. Now, the air to ground missile is kind of cool. Now, that's the other thing, too. You can kind of select your weapons as you go through. As well, dumb fire missiles are kind of nice because what they do is they just shoot out um, micro missile. All right. Anyways, this is a pretty good example of the playthrough. Long, gone on for long enough. You do not have to make your videos this long. In fact, I suggest breaking them into smaller clips. All right. Catch you guys later on the flip side.